If you have watched the other videos in this fire weather series, you will know that weather influences fire behavior by changing the fuel moisture and the speed and direction of fire spread, among other things. Atmospheric stability is a big part of this story. This video will cover what atmospheric stability is, different stability conditions, and how those conditions can influence fire behavior and smoke. Atmospheric stability is a measure of the atmosphere's resistance to vertical motion. Temperature constantly changes throughout the atmosphere, which changes the stability profile. There can be many layers of air, each with a different level of stability. If a layer of air is stable, it will suppress vertical motion. If the layer of air is unstable, it acts to enhance or accelerate vertical motion. Stability or instability is determined by the vertical temperature profile of the atmosphere, which we call the environmental temperature profile. The vertical temperature profile of the environment is controlled by many things. Surface heating and cooling, cloud cover, precipitation, particulate matter, among many others. Atmospheric stability is related to how receptive a layer of air is to rising or sinking air motions, so we need to consider how the properties of the air change as it rises or sinks. Recall that atmospheric pressure always decreases as you move to higher heights above the ground. This decreased pressure will allow the air to expand as it moves up in the atmosphere. Sinking air, on the other hand, will compress as it moves closer to the Earth's surface where there is more pressure from the atmosphere. Expansion of the rising air forces the temperature of the air to decrease. This is a thermodynamic property and we won't dive into the details in this video. On the other hand, the compression of sinking air forces it to warm. Just remember that rising air cools through expansion and sinking air warms through compression. These concepts play a huge role in many of the weather factors to consider on the fire line. There are three basic stability conditions. One, unstable. Two, neutrally stable. And three, stable. These conditions can occur as layers in a variety of combinations as you go up in the atmosphere. We will start with describing unstable conditions. Recall that the Earth's surface is the air's source for nearly all heating and cooling. Strong solar radiation can heat the ground, creating a near-surface unstable layer of air. Envision a dark parking lot in the middle of a green irrigated golf course. The air in contact with the parking lot will warm much quicker and to a higher temperature than the air in contact with the surrounding green grass. Since this air is warmer than its surroundings, it will rise as it's more buoyant than the air around it. This rising warm air can accelerate upwards and is said to be unstable. As long as the bubble is warmer than its surroundings, it will continue to rise. The larger the difference in temperature between the bubble and the air that surrounds it, the faster that the bubble will rise. But remember, as warm air rises, it will cool due to expansion. To assess how far and fast the bubble will rise in this unstable layer, we need to continually compare its temperature to the temperature of the environment around it at successively higher heights. Eventually, this rising warm bubble of air will cool enough to where it reaches a point that the temperature equals that of its surroundings. At this point, the bubble has reached an equilibrium and it will stop rising. Where this equilibrium exists is all dependent upon the environmental temperature profile and the initial bubble temperature. We've said that air tends to rise in an unstable atmosphere, but an unstable atmosphere actually leads to both rising and sinking motions. Wait, how could it be both? Well, Air that rises from the surface creates a vacuum near the surface. The atmosphere doesn't allow voids and vacuums, so air from either side of the void rushes in to fill the vacuum, which we feel is wind. That leaves a new void, which other air must sink to replace. This is why you can get rising motions, sinking motions, and horizontal air movement in an unstable atmosphere. 
In a neutrally stable layer, air can still freely move up or down, it just does not accelerate because the bubble of air is the same temperature as the air around it. It just goes with the flow. You might not see the words neutrally stable in a weather forecast, but it is important to consider. The top of the near surface neutrally stable layer is called the mixing height, which is typically an element in the fire weather forecast, and it is an important concept when considering smoke ventilation. A stable atmosphere discourages or suppresses vertical motion. In this case, if our bubble was forced to rise, it would find itself colder than the warmer environment surrounding it. Cold air cannot rise through warm air on its own, and the bubble's upward motion would stop. In fact, it would sink back to its original position. Its vertical motion was suppressed. When the vertical temperature profile warms with height, we call it a temperature inversion because it is inverted or opposite from the normal pattern of cooling with height. In short, this is a layer of warmer air on top of a layer of colder air. The colder air cannot rise through the warmer air above it. This inversion represents very stable conditions that are less prone to vertical movement. So, to summarize, an unstable layer encourages vertical air movement. A neutrally stable layer neither encourages nor discourages vertical movement. And a stable layer discourages vertical movement. So, how do these environments influence fire, or do they at all? Well, fires are hot, very hot. Gases rising above a fire are very hot as well, like the parking lot example, but much hotter. Think of these gases as bubbles of rising air. They will cool as they rise, but because they were initially so hot, they generally stay warmer than the outside environment for some distance above the fire. A rising smoke plume shows this instability. The rising air above a fire creates a void of air which induces indrafts into the fire, increasing oxygen and potentially increasing the fire's rate of spread. If the atmosphere is unstable, it already encourages vertical motion. The rising air above a fire within an unstable atmosphere will then rise even further. This can create strong indrafts, more oxygen flow into the fire, and an overall larger wildfire. Generally speaking, an unstable atmosphere will support fire growth and a large plume can develop. A neutrally stable atmosphere neither supports nor discourages rising air. If a fire occurs in a neutrally stable environment, the hot air above the fire will continue to rise because the atmosphere is not discouraging this motion. It may not rise as fast as an unstable environment, but the air will nonetheless still freely rise. Thus, strong indrafts can still occur and the fire will have increased oxygen supporting further growth, and a large fire plume can still develop. A stable environment discourages vertical motion. This acts to limit the rising air above a fire, which will limit indrafts and oxygen flow into the fire. Often the smoke column above the fire in a stable layer will flatten out and not rise very high at all. Stable layers tend to discourage fire growth. However, we do need to mention one thing. Strong winds can occur under any conditions, including within a stable layer. And if you have strong winds in a fire, all bets are off and you can still get large fire growth. Stability is an important consideration for prescribed fire. Unstable conditions can be favorable for prescribed fire, as the smoke has a better tendency to lift from the surface and readily disperse. Lighting prescribed fires in unstable conditions requires attention to firing patterns and other factors to maintain control. Stable conditions, on the other hand, can lead to smoke staying closer to the ground, impacting air quality and visibility which is something to be avoided when conducting prescribed burns. The stability of the atmosphere is always changing. Conditions that cause instability, like uneven heating of the Earth's surface and fire, are only temporary, and when the heating is removed, the atmosphere moves back towards stability. Typically, stability decreases from morning to afternoon as the sun heats the near-surface layer of air, and at night, the stability increases as air near the surface cools. So, if you see the word unstable in your fire weather forecast, you know that you are likely to get more lift, which could lead to larger fire growth and less smoky conditions. If you have stable conditions, it is more possible that there will be less lift, which could lead to less fire growth. 
but it might also decrease your air quality and visibility. And, in either case, if you have larger scale weather patterns that promote strong surface winds, those winds will likely overpower the impacts of the stability for a time. So, to review, vertical air movement is driven by the stability of the various layers of the atmosphere. The layers of the atmosphere can be unstable, neutral, or stable, and are always changing. They have an important influence on fire behavior and smoke. Stability is just one piece of the fire behavior puzzle, so we must always consider the other weather elements as well as the fuels and topography surrounding the fire to be able to anticipate fire behavior and plan for safe and effective fire management. <music>